Hi, I'm Kathleen. And I'm Charlene. My mother, daughter, daughter, mother. <laughs> Let's do that. Singer, violist, yes. violinist. And we're Musicians. here today, the two C's, to discuss the big C classical music. This week's subject is favorite things. Yes. My These are a few things. of my favorite things. That's and it's not right. raindrops on hoses. All about music, though. Yes, music, favorite things. Except for chocolate. Okay, well. That's, we'll let that be in. That's a Viennese thing. Yes, okay. Or a Belgian thing. Yeah. So sure, it fits with yeah. music. you got to have chocolate at that's the concerts. True. You exactly. can eat it beforehand, except that if you sing, it doesn't quite Well, work, that's it, if you're watching. Kind of, okay. Okay, so we're going to do favorite things, whether it's favorite composers, favorite conductors, favorite singers, favorite violinists, oh, violists, and cellists, and instrument, other instruments yes, other like instruments. harpsichord, and okay. you have one other thing, you, what you're calling the novelty. The novelty, uh, yeah, whether they're concerts or operas or whatever that, that were really different that I like, so I don't know if you'd call them favorites exactly, but they really stood out and it, well, impressed me. I was thinking I along guess, with your impressive. novelty, you were talking about the balls was um, I like the novelty of doing summer opera outside. Yes. Because it gives, yes. like we went in Heidelberg, yes. we went and we saw um, Mozart's La Clemenza di Tito yes. up in the castle in Heidelberg yes. outside. That is very nice. We also nice. saw the student prince inside the castle. You know, where this... Right, but it's still outside. It was yes, in, outside. The it's in the courtyard, courtyard in the ca old yes, castle, yes. and they had the horse-drawn carriage come in. It was. It's so impressive when you're at these places where. It and we've fits. been to a few it other fits. outdoor things in Europe, but also in the states too. But I like the novelty. Mm. It's a favorite of mine to have these sort of different settings, yes, as right. opposed to being stuck in a dark opera house or concert stage. It makes a difference. Yes, it does make a difference. It's like playing in Jackson. We played concerts outside. That was kind oh, of did? a novelty. Did you see the mountains in the background? Yes. And uh, sometimes in Jackson, there's in the center, there's this antler deer, not elk antler, big arch. And I remember your dad. In played, Jackson? Yeah, Hall? right in the center of town, there's a park. And there's this huge arch, and they use the picture all the time. And your dad had a little. Uh, group of, uh, I guess it was a brass, brass quintet or something. They played right there in that arch. I thought that was kind of neat. Oh. It was very impressive. Well, that, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. Well, can yeah. you see the Tetons from Jackson Hole? Uh, parts of them. It depends on where you are. Like when I was in the hospital with you, I had a great view of the Tetons. Woohoo! Yeah, so you were right there from the beginning. I um, but, am of the mountain. That's right. I am a Teton. <laughs> no, you're not a Teton. <laughs> Teutonic Teton. Teton, yeah, okay. So, yes, you can. Uh, depends on where you are in the town. Some, you know, are blocked a bit because there are lower hills before you get to the big ones. So the hills are alive. That's right. With the sound of Teton. So, Going back to favorite. Yeah, well, oh, that's give a me some. Yeah. Well, okay. So one of my favorite singers would be Frederica von Stade. I, I agree. mean, she's one reason why I thought, hey, I want to do that too. Even though when we lived in Venezuela, and the second year that I was at that Colegio Alemán de Maracaibo, the mm. first year for some reason they didn't let me do choir, even though all the other girls were. It's just that I was a new student, mm. and I was American. And for some reason, they didn't let me sing. But then after that, I got to sing in the choir, and I enjoyed that very much. So I liked to sing. And everyone, yes. when I was a child, always said I had such a pretty voice. Yes, well. Such a pretty sound. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So, but when I was 16, and you took me to the Met, and we saw Rose and Cavalier, and she was singing Octavian. And I just thought, one... She was just really impressive that she was a woman playing a man, and then later she played a woman. Because at the the end, in the end, you know, she plays a woman. Mm. So, and I like the sound of her voice. For some reason, it evoked an emotional mm. response for me. So, I mean, that picked up. So she was has always been a favorite singer of mine mm. because 
of, well, I like that she does like everything under the sun and she does all of it really well. Plus she's a great actress. She's funny. When I've seen her on stage and stuff, she's just, she has a lot of personality. Mm -hmm. She herself does. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, she has a beautiful voice. She just does. So, and especially in her French music. Remember mm -hmm. that one, um, that so who was the that? songs of uh, the Auvergne. No, someone gave me Cantor. a disc of Frederica von Schott, and she was singing a bunch of French opera arias. Oh yeah, and it had like yes. La Damnation de, de Faust on okay. it. Okay, and it has that La Muna d'entre Rosa. You know mm -hmm. that really beautiful one. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, I really like that. So she was sort of my starting point for singers. And then from there, I grew into others. I am a Domingo fan. Mm, of course. Although I do think that Pavarotti had a phenomenal voice and was beautiful and very musical and all that. But for some reason, I always liked Domingo. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to mention a couple singers. Uh, well, I'm not done. No, but... <laughs> I know. But I mean, just came to my mind. We did uh -huh. a concert with John Vickers. And, oh, so uh, now him I would have loved he to He is fantastic and he's such a humble person he's so nice what did you play with him i don't remember arias or <laughs> oh yeah from opera from opera yes like wagner stuff or something probably else? yeah because you know i i didn't don't know remember. this but he's got just... all these recordings of masses and requiems and and box stuff and all this oh. and he is phenomenal in his coloratura even the messiah you know, he sings all this stuff, all the fioritura, all the, the coloratura, mm -hmm. and he sounds amazing in that stuff. My I mean, gosh. people knew him as the big Wagnerian singer. Right, right. But there was an awful lot more, and yeah, yeah he's one yeah. person. I think he did shape. something from Otello. Okay. I can, and I also remember we did the Beethoven 6th, and then he liked us. This is in Quebec, so he... Beethoven 6th? Symphony. I just remember that it was on the program. Oh, okay. So, uh, I was going to say he sang he, 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 No, he arranged that we could go to Toronto and play a concert. Oh. And that was very nice. And he sang with us there. So that was very nice. And another person and I... he was great in Peter Grimes. Like, Grimes, oh, Grimes, Grimes, Grimes! Yes, I we have that great. CD. But I like Kathleen Battle. Or I did. I haven't heard her for a long time, but... Because when she was, sound? it was she was so musical. I mean, she's extremely musical, and it just affected me. I I really liked the way I she sang. I don't like to watch her sing. It's the only thing that bugs oh, me. I haven't really her sound seen is beautiful, it. and I agree. I mean, she's got some great recordings. I remember even hearing a live concert from Salzburg, and she was doing these um, Defia songs and some mm. other Spanish stuff, and. Or the operador, she was singing the operador song, mm -hmm. which are really beautiful. And but then I saw her on TV, and she just was always doing these oh. weird things, which I don't understand why she was doing that because it didn't change her sound, which was at the time was pure. Mm -hmm. She yeah. had very pure sound. Very, yeah, she did. Very, very expressive. Really, very right. nice. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, and somebody I like on records is, is Cecilia Bartoli. I've heard her just lately a few times, like I think it's, well, Vivaldi things and all this oh. color. To, it's just amazing what she does. Yeah, because she's so perfect. She's so perfect, and, and things that are like duets within Vivaldi with some of the instruments, it's just marvelous what she does. I like also Montserrat Caballé. Mm, that's true. I remember that. And I remember seeing a scene of her on television um, the, it was in Germany they were playing this. I don't know where she recorded it, but she was doing Salome. She was? <laughs> and she was incredible. I could not believe it. She had the head and she was on the ground rolling with the she head. She was? She is an incredible actress on top of her amazing singing. I mean, wow. no one can sing that pianissimo mm -hmm. like she can. And I remember when I was in New York and I was studying with Deborah Birnbaum, she went and studied with Montserrat and lived with her and stuff. Oh my gosh, what a Well, because her cousin is Joan Dornaman oh. and Joan Dornaman obviously, you know, had the pull being on the scene. But anyway, she went and lived with Montserrat and studied with her for a while. So her everything with her teaching was, well, Montserrat says this and <laughs> Montserrat does it this way and oh, stuff. But, what an and she kind of worked with her on how to do that pianissimo thing too. Mm -hmm. I, I can't do it. Well, I'm not a soprano. I can't get that high stuff. But I can do it <laughs> yes. on the middle. Yes. But anyways, 